Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK. Welcome to some Euro Truck. Using the Moser equipment, I've done all my recent unboxings. Have a check my channel on the hardware playlist. You'll see all of that. I've set it up here on the desk for a couple of reasons. One, not everyone wants or needs or requires or desires a racing rig. So maybe you just... Um, play Euro Truck or, or Bus Sim or anything like that up at your desk. I wanted to connect it up to my desk just to see what it was like before I move it over to the racing rig. The racing rig is going to be um, uh, the, the most sort of immersive way to do it. I've got the bigger screen over there. But this is a desk setup. Not everyone has got the room. Not everyone even wants a rig. So I'm going to set it up here. Uh, yeah, I will put them on, Matt. Yeah, totally forgot about that. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I've set it up at the desk. I've got a different camera for you as well, which is this one. Uh, this wheel is fantastic. And you can see the angle that I've got it at. Rather than, you know, sim racing, which would be like that, this is almost completely flat. And I, all I've done is I've had about 10, 15 minutes um, just going around, just making sure that all the pedals and buttons work. It's fantastic. It makes it so much more immersive. It's crazy. It's actually, like, especially in this seat, it's like sitting in a truck. It's really, really cool. It's like a, yes. <laughs> and I've taken the steering wheel off of the screen as well because it's up nice and close. So I've got a couple of um, views for you. I'm not saying they're going to be the most brilliant views, but it will give you um, at least an idea of what I'm up to here. So uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to make sure that actually um, changes. Whilst we're doing that, let's do the hellos. How are you? Uh, we've got Sophie. Hello, Matt. We've got Repo Man on Twitch. How are you? Liam Miller. Just sat down in, uh, with your lunch in time. Oh, lovely, Liam. Hello, Joseph King. How are you? We've got Sophie. Hello, Glee Road. How are you, Terry? Uh, we've got King, Miss Giggles, Pretty Cool Will. It's lovely, yeah. yeah. There you go. And I will be doing Bus Sim on it. Uh, maybe even a little bit of farming, Terry? You never know. So I've got a couple... Of, you can see the screen now that I use for my chat, can't you? <laughs> now I know that's um, switching. Let's... Uh, let's get in. I'm going to sneeze. <sighs> oh, good job for the mute, eh? So, yes, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I've set up um, on the wheel. Let me put it back to this one, actually. Let me put it back here. On the wheel, you've got some buttons. So you've got indicators at the top. You've got a high beam, um, which I've obviously set to high beam. You've got the cruise control button, which I've set to cruise control. Wipers, which I've set to wipers. Uh, the right indicator on the other side. We've got the normal headlights. And we've got the menu button. They've got a volume button, which I'm not using for volume. I'm actually using that to switch between the views. Uh, and there's a slider on the on the uh, the, the thumb. Got thumb sliders. Uh, either, so oh, either side, I'm using this side for um, cruise control up and down. You've got two thumb joysticks as well. I'm using the one on my left to look left and look right. But other than that, I haven't really set anything up. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, that's cool. Right, okay, so press the menu button on the steering wheel. Let's go and get a job. Let's go freight market. Uh, yeah, we'll take one from here. Let's go in the UK, actually. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Or should we? It looks rubbish, doesn't it? I haven't got you. I haven't got um, pro mods at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. All right, we'll take that one because it looks like an interesting load. Cool. Yeah, the stalk. Yes, ex exactly. Has anyone done a proper truck wheel before? No, no. The You've had mods where you can sort of put a truck wheel on a mod, but never an actual retail truck. And the the actual lever, the perforated sort of micro lever, whatever they call it, it doesn't feel plastic. It feels like a um, a, a real lever steering wheel. Very very impressed. And uh, yeah, it's, let me let me know about volumes actually. I think just um, oh, that's a bit fast. That's it. So on my left um, joystick, I'm using... Oh, have we got someone coming? <laughs> Just pull straight out, it don't matter, does it? No, it can't be used on the PlayStation 5, no. But, but I have got a... Um, they did send me 
a, an adapter, a um, a uh, like a universal hub adapter. So I will be making a video because theoretically I should be able to get this Moser trucking rim on my Fanatec steering wheel. So that's what I should be able to do. That's what it enables you to do. So uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. But the next video that we do, this is the only one I'm going to do up at the desk. The next video, this will be on the racing rig uh, for proper full emo uh, immersion with the the motion rig. Um, and uh, I'll think of a way to be able to display it there as well. I'll be getting Will when 1.5 comes out. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course you did, Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You used my um, affiliate link, didn't you? So the buttons are on the um, top of the steering wheel for the indicator, but very soon there will be an actual stalk. Can you imagine doing the indicators on the stalk and the, the high beam? That's just going to be brilliant. So I got rid of the steering wheel as well to make it a little bit sort of more immersive for me. <laughs> Matt, how's work, Joseph? <laughs> wow. Oh, it's just so cool sitting in. I feel really high up as well. Rather than having a racing sort of uh, stance in the racing rig and my pedals up, I feel like I'm sitting in a in a van or a truck. It's really cool. Yeah, exactly. It's the same size as a proper steering wheel. It feels crazy. It feels it feels completely different to how I would normally play. Especially here with the armrests. You know, sitting up at here in my sort of uh, my normal gaming chair with the armrest, it actually feels like I'm in a bloody truck. Uh, right, freight market. Here we go, and we're taking that one. Should go for a triple monitor. I don't really want triple monitors though. It would overpower my room. I've got the room exactly how I want it of course I would love triple monitors and I'd love to do what all the other lads do get the camera that follows you around and all that but I don't want it to overpower my room you know racing is only one part of um of what I do here otherwise I would I would have a triple monitor set up but yeah it's tempting but at the same time I don't want to swamp the room with um three large um uh, monitors just don't want to but yeah, this is uh, this is very cool. ETS doesn't support Xbox controller. Mm, are you sure, Atlanta? Why would they suddenly stop that? Have you gone in and configured it? I get messages about um, doing it through uh, that system all the time, and I never have a problem with it. I will make another video. Yeah, that's all it is, King. I would have it. Of course I would. I love racing. I love trucking. I love um, all the rest of it. But, yeah, it would overpower my room. Right, we have got a very, very large load. That's what she said. Now, this, um, this trucking mount could theoretically be used to... Um, on any racing rig on any steering wheel to turn it basically upside down and have it in this angle. If you are thinking, well, that looks cool. I'd love to have my G29 T248, whatever, in that angle sitting at the desk. The um, bracket is only £39. Pound. Um, you could theoretically literally fix any steering wheel to this uh, and go for that immersive sort of feel. The only thing is you do need to be able to go into the software and recenter the wheel. Because if you think about it, the steering wheel is actually upside down. So uh, I've had to go and go in and say, no, this is where I want it to center, not the other way around, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, this room isn't very big. It's three quarters of a single garage. It's uh, I'm amazed at, at what I've got in here. I think it would fill a van up. Well, it would obviously fill a van up. And then when it comes in here, there still seems a lot of room. And, you know, it's all set up really nice. But, yeah, I couldn't fit. I could fit three monitors. I'd have to get rid of the Star Wars cabinet, which I absolutely wouldn't want to do. And I could put it against there, but nah. I want the bracket, but it's 74, including shipping. Yes, yeah. Obviously, you've got um, shipping and uh, import and all that. Hello, Colonel. How are you? 
Oh, this is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's really nice playing here, actually. Like I say, the thing that's making it immersive here is my seat. It feels like a trucking seat. I've got armrests. Don't normally have that um, on the racing rig. Normally, I'm sitting in the Sparco, and it's quite hugging. This feels like I've got the freedom to sort of move around. It's really cool. And this flatness of the angle is, you know, you sort of lean on it like you would a real, a real van. It's really cool. It's weird seeing the chat on camera. Yes, that's how I have it, you see. Is the volumes all right, by the way? And is the camera swapping over? <laughs> I already live in here. <laughs> I did spend two weeks sleeping in here when I got Eva. I slept down here with her for two weeks and had a... Um, house trained in a week yeah just stayed with her for two weeks we slept down here together when she was in a cage and, every, and then i would let her out to go to the toilet throughout the night i had a um house trained in a week because i was able to be here with her all the time so i have slept in this room and lived in this room for two weeks <laughs> camera swapping awesome it's probably not the best view back there but it's something isn't it at least you, you know it's no good me coming on telling you how good it looks and feels at least you can see um, somewhat for yourself. Oh, look at that. Right, she is very, very heavy. Very heavy. Look at that. Bloody hell. Yeah, I did fiddle with her. I did fiddle with myself earlier, Colonel. So that might be why um, it's better. No, don't do that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted I. That's it. Oh, I could sit here all day trucking. I should have started earlier, shouldn't I? <laughs> we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go to about three thirty. So a good couple of hours of trucking. I'd say it's inspired by the Scania. Yeah, yeah, and many other wheels, of course. Hello Jonathan, how are you? So you know me when I play this game, there's no rush here. I like to literally take my time. We're in a 30 zone anyway because of the traffic. It is afternoon, yeah, it's about uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> if that's possible. I'm not sure it is, Colonel. I'm not sure it is. Well, thank you for coming in, though. I do appreciate it. Um, I have got some links in the description. They are affiliate links, which will take you to uh, the website. Um, and I've done, I've unboxed all of this. So if you want to see this equipment in more um, detail, just look back at my most recent videos. You'll see it there. All right, let's get a bit of a shab on. Yeah, one part of me can't wait can't wait to get it on the rig. Another part loves it here because I'm literally sitting back here. Look, I've got my chair back. I've got my armrests. This is really immersive in terms of uh, trucking because it feels like trucking and not racing. So that's cool. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> Two thirty in the morning is it over there, Mark? Bloody hell! What are you doing up? Does this camera angle look all right? The one, the webcam camera angle. What's the Mozart R sixteen like? Well, I haven't done any sim racing, and I've literally this is the first time I've actually used it. But I mean, in terms of like build quality, what I said in the uh, the unboxing, just beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait to get it on the rig. I can only imagine, actually, how immersive a um, triple screen setup with something like this would be. Yeah, I can only imagine because I think it's the steering wheel angle and the size. I think there's two main issues here that is making it um, better. is the size. I've never done any kind of sim racing with a wheel that wide. Never. It's always been a normal sort of um, racing wheel. And the angle. I've never raced or, or driven with it at a semi-realistic. And, and this is... This, um, 
this mount, this desk mount's really easy. If I could just un undo the Allen key, slide it down. So yeah, it's very, very immersive, very good. Hello, Jake, how are you? I'm all good, Callum, thank you very much. It's nice without the steering wheel as well. Yeah, that's quite interesting, I like that. Does it feel any different on trucking with the R16? Well, I've only ever done what I've just literally done now. So I, c I haven't got any answers for what, you know, I'm not going to make up stuff. I don't know what the feel of the false feedback look feels like, you know, sim racing, because I haven't done it with the R16 yet. I will in the coming weeks, um, absolutely. But at the moment, the start of this stream is the only time I've actually used the R16. Hello, Ray Sims, how are you? I do love a bit of cruise control. Absolutely love it. Oh, that engine sounds really nice, doesn't it? <clears throat> These new lenses are like the bottom of two classic Coke bottles. <laughs> oh, God. Brilliant. Good job I can take it as well as give it, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, this is very enjoyable, I must say. It's also nice as well, because I'm naturally holding it like I would a normal steering wheel in a truck or, or a van or something like that. I'm not holding it on the classic, you know, three to six sort of with thumbs in, in sim racing mode. I'm just... It's just quite natural. It's quite interesting, actually, how it's changed the immersion level. I'm actually holding the inside of the wheel just like I would do in a, in a real truck or van. Very cool. I'm sure other manufacturers will come out. I'm sure Fanatec will do something. But like I say, I will have a video coming of, of this particular truck rim working on uh, the Fanatec base. So if you've got a Fanatec ecosystem and you really want this rim, Maybe I can show you how to get that working. Nice. He's overtaking me. <laughs> John's mum too, funnily enough. <laughs> Hello, Crafty. How are you? Oh, a bit of farming for you there on the right-hand side. I told you we would have lots of trucking though. Once I've finished all my unboxing videos um, of all this equipment, I want to use it. Of course I do. And you only have to, because it's so big, you only have to actually put a small amount of movement in, just like the real truck. <laughs> yeah, I will be putting that on a profile rig. There's about. I would say six, seven inches below, um, below the desk. Yeah, I can take a picture and put it in Discord. What I'm hoping to do actually is use this desk mount and leave the Fanatec on there at the same time. Take the rim off the Fanatec, of course. I'm hoping it's going to fit on there, so I can just get this, and whenever I want to do trucking, bosh, straight on. Um, because I want to do it in this angle. Don't forget, if I put the Moser up in its sim racing position, I, you, I lose this. I lose this uh, facility, if you like. So it's like, oh, maybe if I keep the, sim, the, the uh, actual Fanatec up there and keep this just for trucking, who knows? Whoa. Hello, Tanya, how are you? You're normally so quiet. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm shy, that's what it is. Oh, crash. I didn't bloody crash into anyone. Yeah, I haven't got any plans for them to send me a um, Turtle Beach. Not yet, anyway. I can't do any more unboxings this week, can I? <laughs> Just got my hands on the steering wheel. It's very, very natural. Very natural indeed. Surprisingly natural. Having a little, uh, just like literally driving, yeah. Why didn't I have this on my 24-hour trucking stream? That would have been awesome, wouldn't it? 
Hello, Deadly. How are you? Oh, you was on my 24-hour stream, wasn't you, Deadly? So you can see my chat window now. This is uh, this is how I have it. You see. <laughs> steer with your knees. Well, it might be a bit high for me to steer with my knees, but I'll give it a go. Subscriber request. I've no plans to, Deadly, but you never know. Sun newspaper, yeah, yeah. My headset is the Audio Technica. It's a beautiful headset. It's wired, but that doesn't bother me anymore. I was, you know, if I have a bit of a stream marathon, it would always be going flat towards the end of the day anyway. Um, yeah, I love my Audio Technica. That's it. There is a headset command. Thank you, Matt. Very, very good. Um. <laughs> Charity 24 hour. <laughs> it is right, yeah. It's, uh, it, well, it's studio quality, you know, genuinely. Uh, when I went to Gamescon, actually, um, there was like a company that Astragon had called in to set up all the equipment. Um, they all used Audio Technica. It's proper, you know, um, audio studio quality. It's really nice, you yeah. know. I used to have um, a, a, just a standard Turtle Beach with a wireless mod mic, which was beautiful and clear, and it would clip on and come off. Um, but I'd have to charge that and the headset. Now I don't have to do any charging. Yeah, there's a cable, but it doesn't make any difference. Oh, the indicator still. Yeah, hopefully I'll get that. Yeah. So I've only got 42 miles to go. Hello, James. How are you? Yeah, yeah, wired. I have a wired keyboard, wired mouse, wired headset now. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I will improve this sort of view. That was just last minute thing, really. I thought, well, I can't just sit here and talk about a steering wheel if it's not actually on the stream, whereas that gives a um, bit of an idea of how I'm playing and what it's all like. What do you think of it, though? It's cool, isn't it? It's massive, look. Literally massive. Yeah, wired for sound. <laughs> Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder boulder holder. That's what I want. <laughs> I'm going to leave it set up after the stream. I'm going to play, do some trucking um, over the weekend. Not streaming, just, just playing. This is cool. I think this would be cool with Bus Sim as well. I will start... I've been meaning to start a fresh save, actually, on Bus Sim. So this could be quite cool on Bus Sim. I mean, it's like a coach sort of steering wheel, isn't it? You know me, I'm a bit of a slow driver. Does it have vibration? Well, it's not the wheel that has vibration, it's the base unit. And yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's false feedback there. Um, I haven't changed anything. It's all completely default. I mean, these buttons are all backlit, for example, and you can change the color of the backlit. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to go in, change the indicators to orange, um, the LED, the light will go green. I'll change the high beam to blue. Um, yeah, that'll be cool, wouldn't it? But you can do all of that with this wheel. Cockatiel cam. <laughs> It'd probably love to come out. <laughs> be awesome when cars are added. Uh, well, you can drive a car now. Just put a mod in. Yeah. But yes, you're talking about the official update. Yeah, they're putting uh, cars in there, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Love the sound of this truck. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you coming in. Don't forget, we're not streaming tonight because I streamed last night. But uh, 
Yeah, thank you very much for coming in. This is probably the most immersed I've been, even though and it weird. So I've got the I've got the rig, but this is the most immersed I've been in trucking so far. I've got the screen up close. I've got the steering wheel off the screen, the graphics. I'm sitting here in like a nice comfy chair, just like you would in a real truck. The steering wheel's at the right angle. The steering wheel's at the right size. This is this is awesome. Love it. As my bird, yeah, she's all right. She's at work at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, my bird's lovely. <laughs> I actually want to come off there. No, no, no. Thank you. I'm a truck driver. I can go where I want. Yeah, no, my bird's doing well. Oh. Whoops. Ah. This is why I shouldn't get involved. Ah. Um. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's false feedback. Um. What am I going to do now? Yeah, let's just hopefully pretend when Oh, no, that is a fireman. Yeah, he is not an, an immovable object. Oh, no. Um, okay. Why did I do that? I thought, well, no, you can't tell me where to go. I might have to get towed. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you you can't get past, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, shit's happening now, look. Shit is literally happening. Oh god. <laughs> Why? My screen is just a 28 inch. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's good. That's good. That's it. No, not full speed ahead. They won't have it. They won't have it, apparently. I don't know how it happened, and I don't want to know. I just want to get out of it. Look at my reversing skills, though. Look, look at that. Do you remember years ago, it would be like parking time would come up, and that's it. It would be a waste of 20 minutes, and you'd be pissing yourself laughing. Now I can reverse up bloody slip roads. Wow. I just thought, look, you can't stop me. In actual fact, though, what I will do is... Because we've got another police car to get past, haven't we? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, no, I've bottomed out. Oh, I'll get them tyres. <laughs> that sounds really good. <laughs> Are you on PC? Yeah, it's Euro Truck. Yes. Oh, for f <laughs> He's still on PC. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Okay. How do we do this? Let's let's get towed. Let's get towed. Uh, no, not that one. Oh God! How do how do we get towed? F5, F6, view services and adjustments, button zero. What's button zero? Oh, God. Come on, we can do it. Will this work on all games? If you're on PC, yeah, you can get it working on whatever you want. That's the beauty of PC, isn't it? Oh, God. How did I get into this? How, how did this happen? Look. 
literally, I should have known, shouldn't I? I mean, <laughs> look at the fucking... <laughs> Completely stuck, and I care now. I mean, it's just not going to work, is it? I can't snow m snow running my way out of this. Ah, oh dear. F. Right. View services and adjustments. Button zero. <laughs> Rev it more. That will sort it. It probably will, though. It won't. It won't. I know I can't park there. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We can do this. Um... How can you move the mouse without moving the screen? Um, yeah, it's that one. View services. Press F1. Oh, okay. Press F1. Then 1. Oh, so does that mean I can do... Yeah, here we go. Total to service. Uh, who said that? Clark. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, mate. Oh, God, giggles, no. that There's about an hour's worth of uh, turning around based on that. Have I still got the load, though? Because that will be awkward if I haven't. Yeah, I have. Thank you, mate. Expert. Absolutely expert. I was struggling there, and you, you saw it as well, didn't you? You saw it. Perfect. You literally saved the entire stream. Actually, they probably wanted it to be like this anyway. They're probably gutted that I fixed it. They <laughs> beat me on. Uh, I haven't set a button for horn. I tell you what, I wish they had is a proper button under there. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have it any other way. Also, I wish they hadn't put racing on there as well. I wish they'd just put Moser. I know their logo is Moser Racing, but this isn't a racing product. And, and permanently, I look down and I see racing. And I'm like, no, this is not racing. They could have just got done a, like a sideline and put trucking under there like I've done in the thumb. They should learn from me. Right, we're here. No messing about. We are here. <laughs> the tow to service actually uh, saved me some time. Right, I'm not going to go through any more diversions. I think I've learnt my... I think I've learnt my lesson? I think? I'm not sure. Apparently not, Martin, but I don't know. I don't know. This is just a simulator, so... Maybe they can. Look, look at that. Look at that proper turn on the steering wheel. Look. <laughs> yeah, get a scanner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was that rear wheel steering as well? It is, isn't it? Bloody hell. Oh, God. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> what did I say about uh, 20 minutes to do the, the parking? Oh, I do own it. I'll just rent it out, King.
I seem to have mud all down my thing, or is that part of the livery? Lovely. Pivers, it's never been 40... I, I think 48 minutes was my record. <laughs> Right, let's do another let's do another job. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go to Belgium. Come on. Get in. Let's go. Alright, we've got to um come up here to actually collect it, haven't we? Even though it's uh from here. No it isn't, no. It's up here. What's that next screen called? For uh, what's that next screen uh, for you to read the chat? What's it called? It's just a monitor, but it, it's one. It's a swivel monitor, so you can have it in landscape or portrait, and it makes sense to have the chat up like that. So it's just a normal monitor. In fact, you can see three lines. Um, it's it's really old. I've had it absolutely years. It used to be my main monitor years ago, and it lifts up, and you can lift it up and then turn it round for portrait. I've never thought of another use for it in portrait, apart from when I started uh, streaming. But yeah, there's lines all across it, but it's old. There's no point getting rid of it just for a couple of lines, is there? Oh, hang on, we're in the UK. Hang on, hold up, hold up. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy getting mixed up in my own country as well. Yeah, I've always wanted a um, uh, a curved 40 inch, but they just don't seem to do them anymore. That's a 40 inch over on my uh, racing rig, which would clearly be more immersive, but this is cool. It feels better because of the size and the angle. I mean, the, the false feedback is all in the base unit, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be any different in terms of false feedback. But what is different is the size and the angle. And uh, you know, ask anyone, that makes a difference. You know, it's fantastic. I love it. Because it's a bigger wheel, you're not you're not permanently correcting all the time. Because it's a small wheel, look, you're just holding it and like you would a normal truck. Oh, of course, Clark. Yeah, we played this for many hours. So it feels like you're pulling a heavy load. Well, that's down to the game more than the steering wheel. The steering wheel would have nothing to do with the sort of physics. But yeah, I mean, at the when I had that um, previous load on, yeah, we were struggling to go up a hill at thirty. So yeah, but that's the game, not you know. Oh, the wheel's fantastic, yeah. Absolutely, a million percent sold on it. Yeah. Very, very cool. Only to show off the rim, uh, Gas Man, yeah. Remember when curved TVs? Yeah, I've got 65 curved in the front room. Yeah, <laughs> I brought into that. Love it. Even though you're sitting miles away from it. I was like, ooh, curved TV. Hang on a minute. Uh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this is this the right way? Yeah, it is. It is the right way. What am I thinking? Bloody hell, I'm not that thick, am I? Right. Uh, yes, it was this one. Not a discount code, um, Johnny. No, they don't do that. But if you click my link and you do end up buying, um, they do give the channel a small commission. Um, which I've made clear and like in, in brackets affiliate link, but no, they don't do a discount code uh, for anyone, unfortunately. All right, where are we uh, actually picking up from? 
Must be around the corner. Yeah, trust me, if if I had one, I'd give it to you without a doubt. What, are you thinking of buying, Johnny? Aerosoft are making a will, yeah, I've made a video about that. It's not going to be up to the uh, the standard of this, but it will have um, a better angle than a normal sim racing. It, it looks a bit plasticky, but I'm definitely going to try and get hold of that because that's a, a cheaper option. Um, still not console compatibility, though, yeah. I've made full unboxing videos, Johnny, if you do want to check them out in more detail of what you actually uh, get. Yeah, the indicator stalks, yeah. Although these are doing indicator stalks eventually as well, um, which would be a unit that will sit right there. Imagine having indicators. It'd be brilliant. The trouble is, if if you think about it right, though, say for example, it's like the combination is is strange because this is perfect for trucking, but it's no good for sim racing. If you go to a sim racing wheel and put this rim on, you're still in that sim racing position, aren't you? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one for someone that has just got a trucking rig, the desk mount and the steering wheel and obviously the base is absolutely sweet point perfect. But if you're trying to dual use it, um, I mean, you can readjust it. I could move this up and then tilt it back so it's like a normal um, sim racing position and put a normal rim on it. So it's a bit of it's a bit of a hard one. I want to put it over on the rig, but I don't want to put it in the sim racing position because I like this immersion. But if I'm going to put it over on the rig, I need it in the sim racing position. It's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, it is a weird one. Three D adapter and bolted a larger wheel. Yeah, yeah, that's an option, Jake, isn't it? Right, let's have a look here because we're um, we can't go round there, can we? Oh bloody hell! I've got a reverse out of here. Oh, nice, you you say? The wheel itself is two hundred and ninety nine. It's three hundred pound, isn't it? Yeah, click the link. I think it's two nine nine. It's not three nine. Yeah, it's two hundred ninety nine pound for the actual uh, rim. I have got a um, a universal hub adapter as well, which I'm going to review with a view to get in the Moser truck working on a Fanatec um, base, hopefully. Hello, Ghost, how are you? Hello, Algarve. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and go like this, and fucking jackknife it all the way around. Oh, look at that! It's like poetry in motion. I could be in a trucking show or something. <laughs> oh, steady on. Oh, look at this, Algarve. You come just at the right time, mate. Look at that. <laughs> Cool, let's get on the way. We're going to Belgium. <laughs> like a pro. A pro what though? Oh, this is very comfortable and cool and relaxing. Thank you very much for coming in. I do appreciate it. Hopefully this is helping your Friday go um, swimmingly. You got your coffee and Twinkie. I've got my Twinkie. I'll never leave home without that, but I haven't got a coffee. Yeah, we're going to Belgium. Lovely. Nice day for it as well, isn't it? At least it ain't raining.
I've got such big mirrors, I can't bloody see the traffic. Oh, thanks, Jake. Yeah, I just sort of put that up last minute. I was like, well, I can't sit here talking about steering wheel. If you can't see it, it's pointless, isn't it? But now at least you can see it. I will, once it goes over to the rig, I've got a couple of ideas I can improve on that. Oh, I love the sound of that turbo. How can you drive like that? Is that steering wheel turned up too high? Drive like what, Kevin? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, the UK still needs touching up, doesn't it? It's still uh, the least prettiest. Oh, you're not driving, Kevin. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect, mate. Looks better in the game than real life, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is the oldest part, yeah. You know me, I'm a very slow driver. Have you got your e mentor? What's an e mentor? I've got no one sitting with me, if that's what you mean. <laughs> it monitors your driving. Oh, God, do they do that, do they? Oh, shit. No, nah, I'm, I'm the boss around here, Johnny. No one monitors me. Who's going to monitor the monitor? Monitors monitor. We monitor you. Yes, yes, you do. Oh, this is lovely. I haven't played this since Christmas, have I? Yeah, the last Euro Truck stream I did was the uh, uh, Christmas Eve one. I did it Christmas Eve, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And now it's March. Bloody hell. That's gone by in a, in a click of a finger, isn't it? Wow. This is really cool sitting up at this position. It feels totally different to what I'm used to. Totally different. I've never done trucking sitting up here. Only in the rig. I mean, bloody hell, I used to do uh, trucking in the coffin rig. Do you remember my F1 rig I had? Who's, who's an OG here? Who, who remembers my uh, wooden F1 rig I had? I set the wooden F1 rim up. Uh, the e wooden F1 rig up. Never once did I play F1 in it. The <laughs> first stream was trucking. Oh, God. I wouldn't mind the F1 rig, you know. Still, I still think it was a. I, I still think it was cool. I, I wish I'd put a livery on there, but getting in and out. I was too old back then, let alone now. But yeah, the first stream that I did was trucking. <laughs> I sold it, Johnny. Yeah, not for very much either. Bloody thing! It was a monstrosity, really. 
It was so heavy, and because it was wood, it used to creak as well. I'd move in it, and you'd just get the creaking of the wood. It was a good idea. I mean, I would have loved to have put, like, um, you know, uh, a Marlboro livery. Uh, how cool would that bloody look in this room? But it just was really uncomfortable. The amount of times, I mean, you had to crawl into it like an F1 car. The amount of times I was like, right, ready to stream. Let's get in. Lovely. Oh, shit, my glasses are over there. I'd have to get back out. I'd hurt my elbows getting in and out. Oh, it was cool. It was, yeah, yeah. Now it's me that creaks, yeah. You're driving the wrong way. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Can you see that sort of stuttering it's doing? Is that doing that on your screen, or is it just on mine? It's not stuttering. It's like a, a weird, like, speeds up a little bit, then slows down. Weird. I've never noticed that before. Still on the TGT, yeah. Sansa, oh, he's here. He's, a, he's an OG. Max has got the TGT now. Actually, he's got the TGT too. I sent the TGT to Scarab, actually. Yeah, it might be frames. Let me just go into the settings. It shouldn't be, because everything's... I mean, I've got a 40 90 here. It shouldn't... Um Go default, that might be it, because it's on 59, maybe. Just put that down to 200. I mean, it, it used to run on my 3080 like this, so it shouldn't really affect anything. Hmm. That's better. No, that's not doing it, I don't think. Yeah, that's running silky smooth. It was weird. It was like trying to keep up with itself. Hmm. Uh, not a foot. No, I didn't say forty ninety. No, forty seventy. I had a thirty eighty. Did I? I didn't say forty ninety. Did I? Al Garf's got a forty ninety. He's we got royalty in the stream. <laughs> forty seventy. I've got. Oh, sorry, no, I haven't got 4090. Sorry, I got mixed up. Yeah, I'm confusing myself with Elgarth. Yeah, absolutely, sorry. Yep, you did. Yeah, all right, lads and ladies, all right, I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, we've got graphics royalty in the house. <laughs> Bloody hell, 4090, Elgarth. You'll be able to soon, once you get it up and running... You will be able to run Star Citizen on low settings. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Medium. <laughs> I know the fidelity would be unbelievable, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know, gas man, I know. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to say I had a 49 because I clearly haven't. It has gas, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm due to start it. Algar thinks I've shit myself. <laughs> he thinks I'm shit scared to do it. <laughs> I'm waiting for Matt to come over. That's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> no, I am going to start it soon. Things keep getting in the way, like new hardware or just stuff. I will stream it. Yeah, I mean, I have already streamed it in the past, but. Yes. Make your stream, make your PC explode. <laughs> well, yeah, then I can get a 4090. Too many boxes in the way, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Gaza. It feels just like a truck, yeah, yeah, which is uh, a proper treat. It's really cool. Oh, Star Citizen is installed. I installed it the other day. It's sitting there. So we've got 276 miles. What a beautiful game, though, isn't it? It's just a... It's a weird game. And like We've spoke about this countless times. It shouldn't really work, should it? Not really. We're just driving along the road. We're, we're barely even doing anything. 
and yet it's fun, it's relaxing, it's interesting, it's addictive. So it is a weird one. Bloody hell, I don't even think they had proper missions last time I tried it. Like I say, the, the main thing is with this is the angle and the size and the fact that it is a trucking wheel rather than a sim racing wheel. Oh, we've got an official GT UK Star Citizen organisation. Wow. I didn't even know about this. Did I know about this? Am I in it? That's better. It's not doing that weird sort of movement thing it was doing. <laughs> You're banned. <laughs> well, I'm shit scared and I'll go off. Lovely clear day out on the roads. That's crazy, isn't it? You, you sh whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm not spending real serious money on it. I mean, I brought it like, well, five years ago, I think. Four years ago. Like 40, 40 50 quid. It's done. I've never spent a penny on it. <laughs> I know I gave you the green light I know I just forgot yeah this is literally 400 millimeters exactly the same size as uh, most proper truck wheels so it's not even you know they haven't gone for an almost the, the same size it's the same size Are we going through the tunnel? It wants me to go up here. That is the tunnel there. Oh, it's the same way by the looks of it. <laughs> you never spend a penny on it, yeah. If she does come into the stream, I know she's a regular. Feels like I'm sitting up really high as well. The angle that I've got the uh, the overlay of the dashboard on. It's so fucking cool. I could sit here for hours doing this. Oh my god. Yeah, this is cool. I think we're actually going down the first one. No, we're not. It's not that one. It's this one. Hello, warrior. How are you? I mean, just look at it for a game. It's... It's crazy, isn't it? How good it is. Rest on the old steering wheel, like we would. <laughs> no, you're going to have to wait for me, fellow trucker. I've got quite the load on here, though, haven't I? Am I going to fit in there? Hello, Glenn, how are you? You knew the only way home, mate. Hello, James. Find a car on Sunday. Oh, lovely. Oh, that'll give you a freedom that you, you want and need and desire, isn't it? <clears throat> I can lift these up as well. Oh, that's lovely, that is. I'll put that one down because otherwise it blocks the view. My knob feels like leather. 
<laughs> Those are not words that I thought I would hear today. <laughs> yeah, very much trapped at home, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be out and about, wouldn't you? Come down, drive down here, Poods. You know the area I'm in. I do not want to see your levery old knob pug. <laughs> Got a lovely sound on it, this truck, isn't it? Yeah, 30th, Poots. Why is there bollards? I should be able to go where I want. I paid for this game. <laughs> Hello, Owen. <laughs> An egg-stained t-shirt. <laughs> I can turn the truck noise up if you want. I think I probably turn. I tell you what, I turned that down when we was doing um, a convoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, let me know if you want it up. Feels lovely. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't tested the uh, sim racing capabilities of it because obviously this is the first time I've used it. But being sixteen newton meters, it's going to kick ass. There's no question about that. If you are going to buy it, um, Owen, I would love you to use the affiliate link. You don't have to do anything. You just click the link and then go and purchase as normal. I would love you to do that. No pressure. You don't have to. But, yeah, they give me a um, give the channel a very small commission. It all adds up. Yeah, you have to go into the config file in your, um, your My Documents folder. And there's... Um, there's a, a line of code and it's got one if you want the steering wheel or you just put it to zero and it disappears out. It's really cool actually sitting here like this. You certainly don't need a steering wheel, do you? Otherwise you're steering a steering wheel. Wheel's lovely, Zeva, yeah. Isn't it weird? When I play Euro Truck, I feel more comfortable driving on what I would call the wrong side of the road. It's really weird. Have you done a video on the software and accessories? Uh, no, I haven't, no. There's plenty of videos about that. There's channels dedicated to setting people up on doing videos and YouTube. It's not really my sort of audience, if you like. Uh, no, I haven't, no. Yeah, I normally do a convoy. I normally do, just first stream back, just doing a normal one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, gas man, yeah. Oh no, well, I've just done it a minute ago in the UK. I was driving in the UK and I went to the wrong side of the road. Yeah, weird. There wasn't a box to unbox, yeah. Hello, Lee, how are you? So we've got buttons here for lights uh, with the icons and logos. You get stickers as well, so if you want to change it, you can put the sticker over the top. I'm not sure how that will affect the backlighting. I'm sure it'll probably cover it up. And like I say, I haven't gone into the software, um, but you can change the color for each and every button on here. So indicators, I'll have yellow. Um, lights, I'll have green. High, brilliant, uh, high beam, I'll have bright blue. It will look even better. But I just wanted to play it out the box, really. I haven't configured anything. I haven't done anything. I've just um, got it out of the box and come straight on. Yeah, 
Yeah, the pedals are good, yeah, but again, I can't speak for them on a sim racing basis. Using them like this, you're very much just using the very basic features of the pedal set, aren't you? Stop and go. No, go and stop. When I get it up to the rig, then I'll be able to see what the load cell is actually like. But yeah, very, very simplistic uh, requirement when you go and truck in, I suppose. If you're not going to do sim racing on it, then I'd probably just stick with one of the cheaper bases. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to do sim racing, then yeah, you get as the best that you can. Uh, I think if you were doing sim racing, if you were doing tr just trucking, I don't think you necessarily need the R16. I honestly don't. I've always had the false feedback very, very low when I'm trucking. I don't want to be fighting with it. And plus, they've got such light steering now, haven't they, in, in trucks. You, you know, you can probably do it with one finger, like you can in your car. So, false feedback in trucks, it's not a massive requirement of mine. But yeah, if you're doing sim racing, then of course the R16 looks like a beautiful bit of kit. It really does. I was really surprised when I got it out the, uh, got it out of the box, actually. It looks fucking beautiful. As you saw from my unboxing. <coughs> yeah, you're on PC, so you can keep the um, uh, Thrustmaster pedals, yeah. Don't forget though, Owen, it doesn't work on console. What, are you on PC, I'm guessing? I mean, I'm sure eventually Moser will get it to work on PlayStation, but it, I doubt very much if it'll, be, if it'll be backwards compatible. You know, these these items won't be PlayStation compatible. Future ones will be, because it all needs to be certified. So, um, yeah, if you're buying now, don't expect capab console capability. Matt's always in the verse. He's always, he's always got something. This is lovely. I'm can't tell you how how nice it feels just sitting here like this um, trucking lovely and I'm resting my hands in the way that I would normally you know you're on a long journey you're not like that are you like a sim racing position you're you're just at one with the wheel aren't you when you're driving they will go to console yeah at one point hello Eden how are you yeah, all the buttons are there for high beam uh, and lights as well. Already pre-marked and pre-iconed with backlit uh, buttons. The Simpit um, uh, software seems pretty good as well. I haven't done much in it, just had a look around. No, there's no horn and you can set whatever you want. It's PC, so you can set what you want. Yeah, quick release is good, just like the Fanatec stuff. The only quick release that isn't a quick release is the Frostmaster, where you need to get a bloody screwdriver out. That's not quick release. But yeah, Moza, Fanatec, um, proper quick release. Yeah, they are doing indicators, the stalk. I think it's got headlights on there as well, which would be cool. That's the ultimate setup, isn't it? Bloody hell. Like I say, I can only imagine what it, what it feels like to play this on triple monitors, because already I'm sitting here, and this feels like, even though I'm up to a, a bloody 28-inch screen, it just feels so immersive playing with the screen this close, and the angle and the size of the steering wheel. Mainly the angle. No, is it the angle? The size and the angle is giving me great vibes playing this game. Yeah. Oh, it would, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, if the indicators are on the wrong side to what you're used to in your car, that could be a problem. <laughs> I have actually been playing uh, Truck Sim before, though, where I've automatically gone for the indicators, just, you know, getting immersed and playing it. So that's definitely happened to me before. 
scanning a cab. Oh god, gas man. Yeah, I mean, if I had the space, I'd be I'd be well into all that stuff. But like I say, sim racing and even trucking, it's not it's not it's not everything to the channel. So I don't want it to overpower the channel. But yeah, I'd love a little truck corner. It'd be great, wouldn't it? But this is totally fine. <laughs> would only go the way of the flight rig. I don't know. <laughs> I need a bigger room. If I had a bigger room, then I would attempt all of this stuff because I love all that. I love it. The creativity needed to to create like a um, a cab would just be awesome, wouldn't it? I'd have a spare seat as well. Yeah, it'd be just fantastic. But I haven't got the space. No, not over the weekend. No. Family time. I like having the weekends off. Of course, from a streaming point of view, weekends is when I should be on, but it's, it's important, isn't it? Family time. So they tell me. <laughs> I'm joking. I think someone's just said that, Owen. Keep up, mate. <laughs> Yeah, the flight rig's gone. Yeah. Look at the graphics, though, and the lighting. Now we're out of the UK, you've got that sort of crispness. Um, it just looks fucking fantastic. You're a taxi to go shopping. Yeah, but it's all good, though, isn't it? If I was going to stream from here again, would you have this camera, or would you not bother, or just the normal camera? <laughs> Yellow and shits on Jason's shoulder. Should we get him out? Should we get him out? He loves my left arm, so we'll have him in the left arm. Come on, darling. Come on, baby. That's it. I'm going to get a tissue, and I don't have to panic him. That's it. Come here, my baby boy. That's it. You're a good boy. There you are. There you go. Yeah, he'll sit there quite, uh, quite happily. There we go. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, I thought it was important to have some kind of camera on it, um, while I'm talking about it, at least. <laughs> He's such a lovely bird. He really is. He loves my left arm. That's his favourite place. It's just sitting on my left arm or shoulder. He works his way up and down, up and down. Oh, no, he's going across me. <laughs> you can probably see him on the other camera now. <laughs> I have had a few rigs, haven't I? Yeah, I have. It's all fun now, isn't it? Did I say right arm? I meant left arm. Sorry, left arm. Bloody hell, left arm, right arm, 40, 90, 40, 70. He'd be on the wheel, yeah, he has been on the wheel before. And then as I'm turning it, he's like, oh, left a bit, left a bit, right a bit. It's raining, birdie. Yeah, it's raining, boy. Yeah, see you later, Johnny. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh, 
Look at him stretching, look. You alright, baby boy? He's a beautiful pet, Joseph. I absolutely love my bird. <laughs> He'll be after my ring, so I'm going to take that off. He likes to chew my bloody ring. I'm worried that he's going to hurt his beak. <laughs> you could ride him. He's not bloody something out of Final Fantasy, you know. KGB. We got a raid going on? Oh my god, have we? Or is it just you, KGB? God, what's happening? <laughs> no, Matt. Is it a raid of one? It's just me. Uh, okay, you might want to rethink that sort of entrance strategy. Just rethink that, KGB, I think. Yeah. I think, honestly, just, just rethink it. It's like bursting into a room and saying, I've won the lottery! And they go, what? No, oh, I haven't. No. Or coming out the doctors going, I'm all clear! And they go, yeah! And you go, no, I was only joking, I'm not. Oh god, the bird's on the actual rim now. Oh, if I was a truck driver, I would actually take him with me. You'd have to be careful, obviously, with the doors. But I would take him with me. I would. Not KGB, I mean my bird. <laughs> that went dark really quickly. <laughs> he will be on the wheel in a minute, yeah. You see, he's really settled though, isn't he? He's just, he just likes to be out of his cage a lot, which is uh, obviously what they like. He's building up the courage to go on there. But where I'm moving it, he's thinking, why are you moving it? Yeah, oh, he is pooch, yeah. You can feel that vibration for it as well. Can you give me the rank and the gas station? Mine are, oh, you did yesterday. Uh, can you give me the rank and the gas station mine? Uh, what do you mean, Malak? Sorry. Just reword it, what do you mean? Maybe you're asking what rank you need to be for it to open up. It's actually a new game. You need to go to new game. And then you get the choice of Dust Bowl or Tidal Wave. It's not, um, it's not like the other DLCs where they've added it to your gas station. It's almost like another game mode. Maybe you mean that. Come on, on the other side. That's it. Yeah, my passenger's cool. Honestly, I'll take him with me. If I was a truck driver. You know, one day I'll just forget though, undo the window for a bit of air. Whoosh, he's gone. Oh, I got you. Yeah, um, I made that private actually. Um, unlisted. So I'll make it... Um, live later on so i thought i'd make that private after the stream and then make it live for, as i'm not streaming tonight so yeah it'll be uh it'll be live any minute once i finish the stream you stretching
Yeah, the Aerosoft truck and bus will. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> he needs a good stretch. I haven't given him a, a fly today. He's sort of stretching his own wings. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right, baby boy. Yeah, as soon as I finish the stream, it will go uh, public again. <laughs> Lot lizard. <laughs> Oh, really, Poos? You're on iRacing, are Yeah, iRacing is the best. I'm still yet to bloody try the rain update. Once I get sucked into iRacing, it's so good. There's nothing else like it. Saying that, there is something like it, and that's R Factor and uh, Le Mans for the pure feel of it. But, yeah, there's something about iRacing that's very, very cool. They've obviously got something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's so expensive, isn't it, Matt? <laughs> it just feels the most real, doesn't it? It's the only one where I actually get nervous before before a stream. And not before a stream, before a race. You know. Oh, thanks, Toby. This is my perfect way to game, really. Who doesn't want to game just relaxing and chatting? Fucking brilliant. He's literally watching the TV. He comes in the front room with me, and uh, he, 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 uh, I recline up, and he he makes his way down to my feet. He sits at the end of my feet, and he watches TV. He just stares at the tally. He loves it. And that's what he was doing then. He was just resting on me and uh, just watching the screen. He's just watching it. So cool. It is the most realistic, yeah. It's just so good. It's performing fantastically, thank you, Shenko. Right, we're parking up, little birdie. Right, we've got to reverse in as well. That's going to be awkward. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks, Scorp. Thank you, mate. You know, I mean, you know, I'm not like one of these high-end bloody channels with all the triples and, you know, uh, POV cams, but I'll try my best to show off what I'm trying to show. And they haven't got cockatiels, have they? So... Yeah, all you have to do, Owen, is you just click the link and then go shopping. That's all you have to do. Yeah, if you click that link first and then go on to do your shopping, um, they take care of it all. We're reversing, birdie. Hold tight. Hold tight, mate. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, you didn't expect that, did you? Come on. You didn't expect that. Oh, shit, I've hit something. You expected that. Oh, 
I know, I mean, I know. It's fine. Right, we just need to straighten up now. And then we'll sort of be fine. <laughs> my bird shat on my rim. <laughs> look at him looking at the screen. Look. There you are, good boy. He loves a little head rub as well. There you are, good boy. Yeah, he likes me cuddling him recently as well. Look at that, that the trust he's got. I don't know which camera it's on. But I can put my hand over him now. He's got quite a bit of trust in me. <laughs> right, what's the time anyway? Uh, 2.45. Do you know, all the time, right? Maybe it's because I'm sitting closer here, I don't know. But you know, how many times have I asked you what the time is? And yet the time is next to each and every comment. And <laughs> I've never noticed before. <laughs> how funny is that not? <laughs> Usually I'm like, what's the time? It, yeah, it, it's right there. It's right there, mate. Let's take this one. <laughs> Pro streamer. <laughs> I might start um, reading out the time of your comment as well. Seven years, uh, man and boy said Matt at 2.47 p.m. So, yeah. A really helpful feature that I personally think they've only just introduced. Otherwise, I would have I would have noticed it. Are you endless frame? Y you mean in frames in the in the game? I'm sick. I play at 60 frames because that's what I stream at. So, that's what I, um, that's what I've always played at anyway. It's been there ages, but optional. Oh, maybe it hasn't turned on on my computer then. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen it before. I've got to say. See how he likes just to sit there. It's great, isn't it? The trouble is, where I take blood thinning tablets, my um, I'm very susceptible to bruises or cuts or anything like that. And he's got very, very sharp claws. So what I find is that by the end of a session where he's on me like this, I've got all these little tattoo dots all over me. And they all they come up like I've sort of cut myself. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I take quite heavy blood thinners. <laughs> he digs in. He's got huge claws. Absolutely huge. Uh, what are we rating it out of 10? I don't really do those ratings. I mean, you know, I'm very aware that as a, a streamer, this has been sent to me free of charge. That doesn't change my opinion. But of course, it's going to make me not consider that that sort of investment. That's the only thing that it does um, affect. So, you know, how's the will? Well, to get the will, you've got to... Excuse me, mate. You've got to buy the base unit, you've got to buy uh, the pedals, you've got to buy the rim, you've got to buy the desk clamp. It's quite an investment, isn't it? But, yeah, how do I rate it? I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's the size of it. I've never experienced anything in driving or sim racing or sim driving like it before. Uh, the angle, I've never driven 
like this normally it's like up like that isn't it so for them two bits alone it's just fantastic really really cool but obviously that's there's quite an investment there which i'm aware of but i haven't felt because it's been sent free of charge so i'm always honest about that never changed my opinion of course why would it but it does you i do have to personally take that into account you know i didn't have to pay a penny for it, it just come as part of the channel which is beautiful um and it's nice to be able to show people new products but i didn't pay for it so i haven't got a I haven't got to think about things like that, but a normal, you know, person going to the website now and purchasing, it's a massive, um, it's a massive undertaking really, isn't it? But yes, I do love the rim. Absolutely love it. Wait, why are you biting my fi- Why are you biting my finger? <laughs> why? He's ready to fly away because he, he he needs exercise. I can tell he's he's pent up. Do you know what I mean by that when I say that about you know because it's um, I haven't had to actually invest. It it does change. Uh, it does change the attitude somewhat. Not my faults. Faults are exactly the same whether I paid for it or not. But it does change it um, a little bit. Yeah. It's roughly 1400 to 1600. No, no, mm, no. Only if you go for the R16. The R16, I think, is 799. The rim itself is 299. The pedals are 149. The desk clamp is 39. So, yeah, almost. But I love, of course, the opportunity to be able to show you this stuff and give you my honest opinion on it, because it will only be an honest opinion. If I thought it was a waste of time and like, hmm, do we really need this? Of course you don't need it, but does it do anything? I'll tell you if it did or not. I think it does. It's uh, In terms of immersion, this is the most immersed I feel. Uh, sitting here, strangely enough, because I'm not sitting in the Sparco seat, which I did by myself, uh, because... Um, I'm sitting here in my proper chair. It feels like a sort of trucking chair. It feels comfortable, relaxed. I'm not I'm not pent in like I am in my racing rig. I actually like trucking here. It's really cool. Make sure it being fairly neutral. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it yeah, you're right about that sort of uh, uh, sunk cost fallacy or buyer's remorse. Because a lot of people, like you invest in something and because you've invested in it, I'm not talking about, the, take the review part out of it. You know, if you're talking about buying something and then your mate asks you and you're like, oh no, I love it. Yeah, 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 cool. Because you've invested, haven't you? You've invested your money. You don't feel like saying, oh, I sort of regret buying that really. I don't even use it. You're like, nah, it's cool. So yeah, actually getting it free of charge does create a certain um, blank canvas. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, but it would with me anyway. You can use other pedals, but need the adapter. No, Matt, no, no, you're wrong there, mate. You can plug in any, as long as the pedals are USB, you just plug them into USB. You don't need an adapter to run other um, pedals with this setup. Yeah. If you wanted, if you seriously wanted to plug in um, the pedals to the base unit to save yourself a USB plug, maybe. But if your pedals are USB, you, you just plug them in completely independent. The big 30, oh, okay. what, what, the big, oh, 30 months, yeah, I was going to say, you're not 30, you're way younger than that, 30 months, thank you very much, British Ace, you, you're, you're a good geezer, how are you, mate, can you stop biting my ring, <laughs> let's put that over there, the missus comes home, my wedding ring's off, what's going on, no, no, it's USB, it's all PC, it's all independent, isn't it, you can just plug your, uh, so you said Thrustmaster pedals you got, didn't they? As long as they're USB, you just plug them into your PC and configure them separately. They, they can they can be absolutely independent to your steering wheel. You haven't brought an adapter then, have you? It's 
cheaper to buy the bundle than buying everything separately. Yeah, yeah, it can be. Depends on what bundle they put together. Always do your shopping, isn't it? You're right, boy. But the Moser stuff, from what I've used so far, uh, most of my experience with Moser have been in them unboxing and reviewing it from that angle. But in using it and scrutinising the uh, the quality, it all seems really nice. Really nice stuff. He's quite happy out here, isn't he, the old bird? <laughs> Yeah, you're a good boy. You're showing off, showing your wings off. If I had wings, I'd sit here doing that, so fair play to him. You'd come in, oh, game tech, do your wings again. I'd be like, oh, God, do I have to? I'm doing all right, British Ace, thank you very much. Exactly, oh, I told you he'd go. Does more look, look more like a real rim, yeah, yeah. I like the way they've gone for the full size, not even like an attempt at, like, oh, we didn't go full size, we went slightly below. No, it's a full size rim. R12, there'd be nothing wrong with that, mate. Oh, the R5 one, you get the desk mount, the base wheel, and two pedals. Oh, lovely, David, yeah. Oh, don't bite my rim. Oh, he's off. He's off on the rim. There he goes, look. <laughs> he's such a cool bird, isn't he? <laughs> Absolutely love him. You'd think that you'd get your bird out, and all he'd want to do is fly off, but he's just more than happy sitting with me. Oh, I got you, Pooge. You brought that instead, yeah. No, don't bite it, please, young man. Don't bite it. He is a good boy, yeah. Yeah, he's not skittish or anything like that. I mean, they're easily frightened because fight or flight, any bird like that would just fly off. So, uh, like I was in the kitchen with him the other day and the missus um, shut the fridge door a little bit too hard and obviously he felt that air. He's gone. He, he's 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 off. He's flying off. Then he gets defensive. Like he's 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 uh, having a little play with the buttons, and then when I want to touch it, he gets territorial over it. No, it's mine. He says, "No, it's not. It's mine." Oh, lovely poos. And you've got all that great expense again of all the usual tax, insurance, etc. Yeah, you're a good boy. What is it, poos? Go on then, get on there then. Master free, oh nice. 13, yeah. Yeah, David, I have actually got that, so I'm just due to... Uh, that'll be one of my next jobs, is to do a review and see see how it behaves, having this Moser wheel up to the Fanatec um, base. So that video is coming. <laughs> Easy to set up and spend, yeah. I've really enjoyed this stream. It's been nice and chilled. Half four in the morning, so we've gone through the night. He hasn't shit once, either. He's trying to um, pick the racing part of the racing, uh, Moser Racing logo off. <laughs> Look how dusty he is. Look, can you see that? He's just shook his um, 
shook his wings. The cockatiels are so bloody dusty. They're very destructive. They just want to destroy everything. They've only got their beak, haven't they? I'm surprised how natural it is. I've just got my hands laying flat on the bloody steering wheel, just like you would in a real steering, uh, like a real truck. Whoa, did you slip? No, don't pick that. Oi! See, he fights me for it. <laughs> He's like, that's my mate, Ro Moza Racing logo. Seventy-one miles to go. Look at that! Look as the night times go in, the sun's rising. Beautiful. So we'll go after this um, after this delivery. Try and keep the stream at a sort of reasonable uh, length, so people do re-watch it to check out the Moza Racing Wheel um, but yes I'll be back on Monday as usual a very very nice experience very nice Elevated the trucking experience, that's for sure. I'll do some bus sim with it as well next week. There's a lot of people on the channel who still like bus sim. <laughs> that, that was ages ago, wasn't it, Zevo? I saw you put Ween, but I mean, I'm not one to pick up on that. He is uh, Giggles, yeah. A lovely boy, isn't he? Yeah, you're a good boy. Mm, probably not British Ace. Fernbus has just sent me some DLC code for um, new DLC, but I'm not really into that. Yeah, and he, he's a nice bird as well, isn't he, Giggles? He don't just look nice. He's got a nice temperament. You know, he wants to be a, like he's prune, uh, preening himself. So that's full trust there. If he preens near you, then he's happy. Yeah, he's just a really nice little boy. Bolshy, but the birds are. It's got to be done his way. Expect a lot more trucking though, because uh, obviously I want to use this. I want to showcase it um, for those people interested in buying it. But oh, look, I just blew a bit of dust off there. Come here. Come here. Oh look, he's up. He's up on his rope. He's alright. It's because I just went like that to brush his dust off. That's how they can get spooked so easily. He's up on his rope, looking in his mirror. He's alright. I'll put a rope up on the ceiling that he can fly to. It's still such a great game, Euro Truck, though, isn't it? I mean, it's old. It's old, isn't it? But look at it. Still so cool. And it's not like they're stopping development. It's not a dead game, is it? It's uh, They're always doing something to it. Hello, Simon. How are you? It is old, but gold, yeah.
A beak is a third foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is there. You know, it's, what, it's all they've got, isn't it? They can only really do anything with their beak. Anything they want to do, it's with their beak. Updated engine, yeah, it is coming. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your breath. It's going to come, but I don't think it's coming soon. I don't think. I might be wrong. Yeah, the experience is that good that uh, I'm going to struggle to go back to a normal sim racing wheel for trucking at a sim racing angle, holding it like, you know, three to six. This is just, it's just a different kettle of fish altogether. Oh, hello. Come back, have you? Eh? You had your little bit of exercise. I think it is Pug, yeah. Fucking beautiful looking, wasn't it? Yeah. I love it when you did the map tour with your son. The map tour? On what, Corey? The map tour? Yeah, the uh, Outlast Trials is just a really nice looking game, wasn't it? I just got to the end, didn't I, and failed. Actually, I've got the aircon on there. It might be a little bit cold for him as well. Cockatiels are actually an Australian bird. That's where they come from. You come from down under, don't you? Right, we've got to park up again, birdie. I don't like the way he's looking at you. <laughs> I love the way that you drop off loads that sort of correspond to where you're dropping them off as well. It's not just like any old load to, to any old faceless building. You know, building stuff to building yards, wood to wood yards. There's a nice bit of fault behind it. Do I play truck and logistics? Yeah, yeah. Whenever we do a, mo uh, a, um, a convoy, yeah, it's great fun. In a funny kind of way, it's better than this if you want a convoy because you can get up to 30 people in there. Yeah, it hasn't got the... You know, the the graphical fidelity, the trucks, <laughs> the jobs, the length, yeah, admittedly. But truck and logistics, I only play it from a convoy point of view. It's fantastic. I don't play it single player. There's just not enough there for me. How can you compete with something like this? But multiplayer, you definitely can. How are you, David? This has been an absolute pleasure and a treat to be driving like this honestly it really has and i've enjoyed the stream as well hopefully you have as well a bit of friday afternoon action for you <laughs> who's going to turn that down but i'm going to go once i drop this one off where do you think you're going I love just taking it slow, just like you would in a real, uh, in in a real truck like this. Right, is it left or right? Let's go right. <laughs> this is a great location, isn't it? And just think, you're only going to see this location whenever you just drive here for to do a drop-off. You're never going to sort of come and visit it for any other reason. Okay. How are we going to do this, birdie? No, don't bite my neck. I must have a little, like, a little dot, or not a spot. I haven't got any spots on my neck, but I must have something 
like a little skin lesion or something very micro because whenever he sits on my right side he finds it and he starts nipping at it and it really hurts it's like someone's rubbing a laser a uh, razor on it No, it's not my right ear. There's something on my neck, maybe. Right. <laughs> now he's on me head. No, come on, off me head. That's it. We're parking. Could this be a first goer? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's because I've got it on simple automatic because I haven't got... Don't forget, this steering wheel hasn't got any um, uh, gear levers. There's, there's nothing underneath. It's just the steering wheel um, itself. Hello, Mac. How are you? Yeah, thank you very much for coming in and uh, checking out the old Will there. Oh, you've been watching him there. Oh, that's quite a good view of him, isn't it? Oh, cool. Right, that is it, everyone. Have a lovely weekend, and I will see you sometime next week. See you later, everyone. Oh, hang on. I've got a... Hang on. I've got to turn my little scene switcher off. Now we can go. All right? See you later.